Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the concepts related to data processing instructions which are available in the ARM 7. So this is outline uh, for today's tutorial. Now in ARM, we are having different category of instruction sets available like data processing instruction, we are having sub certain conditional instructions okay so there are various category of instructions available in the arm which uh, i have already explained in the previous uh, video now in this tutorial we are going to learn instructions related to data processing now in the data processing we are having basically this category of instructions data movement arithmetic operations logical operations compare operation and multiply operations okay so all these operations come into the data processing instructions okay now all operations except multiply instruction are carried out inside the alu now this is related to the architecture of arm 7 processor in arm we are having this alu unit so all these instructions are executed in the alu unit except multiplication instruction because multiplication instruction is carried out in the multiplier block there is separate mac block available inside the uh, inside the architecture of arm 7 so this multiplication instruction is carried out inside this mac block now data processor uh, processing instructions do not access memory now these instructions operate on two 32 bit operands and produce 32 bit result which is normally again stored inside the another register now next important point is most data processing instructions can pre-process one operand using barrel shifter so as we can see in the architecture this is one block or one part of the architecture in the architecture itself we are having a unit and one barrel shifter so using this data processing instruction we can pre-process some operands before going it to the a unit and there are approximately 16 basic instructions available in the data processing okay now these 16 instructions are related to this operations move arithmetic logical compare and multiply now data processing in data processing instruction we are having these categories so first category is data movement so whenever we have to did transfer data from one register to another register then we are having these two instructions the next is arithmetic instruction so in this arithmetic we perform addition subtraction operation then we are having logical instructions so and or xor bit clear all these instructions are executed inside this logical instructions then we are having compare instruction set or compare instructions for comparing different different numbers now please note uh, one point in compare instruction no result is generated just conditional codes or conditional flags which are av available into the cpsr register uh, it is uh, it is normally changed okay so there is no result generated basically in this compare instructions and as i said in the previous slide there are 16 basic instructions okay so if we count these instructions we get 16 instructions okay now in this tutorial we are going to study only arithmetic instructions okay now this is standard format for the instructions uh, in the arm so we are having first is operation so what operation we have to perform it is mentioned in the operation block then we are having condition there are different conditions available equal not equal etc so that we can append after the instruction or after the operation then we are having this s bit so if we append s to the certain mnemonics of the instruction then your cpsr register is normally updated it means your flag bits are updated then we are having this result register and we are having two operands okay now this operation we are going to now study in the next uh, points so we are having different operations add add with carry so please concentrate here add stand for addition of numbers so here 
we have we are having this instruction add r0 comma r1 comma r2 so this instruction is executed in this way this instruction is normally execute uh, execute in this way r0 is equal to r1 plus r2 so this r1 and r2 are normally added and result is stored into the r0 register okay next is add with carry so in some cases during addition if carry is generated and uh, if user want to add this carry also in the result then we can use this instruction add with carry so these two numbers are added and carry, uh, carry is also added in this two number and result is stored into the r0 register so here is the explanation related to this then subtract now in subtract this r1 minus r2 operation is performed and then result is stored into the r0 register so this subtract instruction will be executed like this then subtract with carry so in some cases uh, we have to perform this operation so subtract with carry operation normally perform with the help of tools complement okay so r this instruction will be executed like this r0 is equal to r1 minus r2 minus not carry okay please note this point it is, this is not carry uh, symbol then rsb rsb stand for reverse subtract now what is mean by reverse subtract in all these instructions like add add with carry subtract or subtract with carry first operand we consider this one so this is first operand okay and we perform we consider this first and then second operand is nothing but this r2 registers okay but if we have to perform reverse operation like in this subtract instructions we studied r1 minus r2 is performed but if we have to perform r2 minus r1 then in that case this reverse subtract instruction is used so in this reverse subtract instruction r2 minus r1 operation is performed okay and result is stored again in the r0 register then we are having reverse subtract with carry so this instruction is executed like this r2 minus r1 minus no carry not carry sorry uh, no, no not carry okay so this is called as reverse subtraction okay so all these instructions are available in the arithmetic operation okay which i have mentioned in this slide so all these instructions are available on, in this arithmetic instruction okay now we'll take one example and we'll see how these instructions are normally executed suppose we are having three resistors inside r0 we are having 0 0 this is r0 this is this is a 32 bit number please note it down and x stand for hexadecimal so whatever number you write after x will be considered as hexadecimal then inside r1 we are having 0 x 0 0 0 2 inside r2 we are having 0 x 1 so if we perform this subtraction r1 minus r2 then we get answer is equal to 0 x 0 0 1 2 minus 1 will be 1 okay so here we are having this instruction subtract r0 so result will be stored into the r0 r1 minus r2 so inside r1 we are having this 0 x 0 0 2 and inside r2 we are having 0 x 0 0 1 so this will be executed and we get result which is nothing but 0 x 0 0 1 and this result will be stored into the r0 register okay so we can see pre-execution of this instruction we are having this contents so inside r0 we are having all zeros and after execution that is post execution we are having r0 is equal to 0x00 okay now there is one more concept concept related to these instructions if i append s to this particular instruction like s u b s r0 comma r1 comma r2 so s it means cpsr register will be updated so inside inside cpsr register we are having n z c v flag bits okay so these flag bits will be updated inside the cpsr register okay so these are the arithmetic instructions inside data processing instructions in the next tutorial we'll see 
remaining instructions. Thank you.